Alright, so here we are again. Let Kyle do things with some more Bioshock. Picking up again where we left off in the wine cellar, or the winery, whatever you'd like to call it. I'll take all that, thank you. Alrighty then. And I wanted to clear something up. I realized last video, and I'm very, very sorry. I goofed up on something. All of you that were paying attention in the last video where I... The bee's knees where we went to the aviary. We want to call that, or the avery, I think is what it's technically called. Could be screwing that up too right now. Anyway! The point being... Is that... I said... Talking about rep. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I screwed up and I was talking about Rapture and being a big city and going to see things and sometimes you go to a big city or a big area and you're like, oh, you know, did you see this? Did you see that? Or whatever. And I realized that when I was talking about example of New York, I said Eiffel Tower. And see, I haven't found all the director's commentaries. That's another little hidden thing in this remastered version. I don't think that was in the original if I remember correctly. But, yeah, I was talking about New York, and somehow the Eiffel Tower came up, and I meant the Empire State Building, but, you know, that's not what I said, so I'm sorry. Uh, I failed geography, apparently, in life, and all those skills that I learned in school have gone out my brain and somewhere else. Probably to remember how to do YouTube videos is what took its space. Probably how to sit there and, you know, find things to post on let Kyle do things is probably where all that info went went out the brain and said this is not needed anymore <laughs> but no I'm I'm trying to be better and I'm, I'm not trying to sound so mumbly I keep getting in these these modes where I sound mumbly and I'm not I don't know I just kind of you know I talk like this and yeah that's interesting and I don't want to do that there's that creepy violin music again you know, I don't want to bore you. It's the last thing I want to do. Nope. You saw nothing. You didn't see a thing. You didn't see anything. That's a trap you And a shock. Gotta risk it. Risk it all. Bought it out. And you are my friend now. You see, I didn't really like the bees the first time around. I don't know. Maybe the bees were, were like your your absolute thing that you loved. Yeah, I figured I'd try them out, but not. Well, I wasn't feeling it. wasn't my thing. Maybe I don't want to come get you. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Do what I'm told. I'm doing them to what? Huh? What'd you say? <laughs> and yeah, I know I made a noise, but still, that was that was priceless. That was just perfect. <laughs> but yeah, this this is where we finally move the story along from the bees and everything else and from the winery and we actually take care of the section I know it's taken like technically I guess two and a half videos just to cut to this but that's alright there's not a problem with that it's okay and not that it's a big deal but Kyle also had to go back because I realized because the next section after here after you finally get done with all of Arcadia and all of its wonder and blissful splicers trying to kill you after you get done with that, you go to the Holy Grail of Strange and Different. And that, of course, is Fort Frolic that I'm sure everybody that has played this remembers. That for some reason, this one person that played it 
completely forgot about till he was playing it again and was in it. Don't know how I did that, but I did have to go back yet again, and it was a bigger mistake because I had moved the story so far along and didn't realize I had not recorded the first, like, half of the section. Now let's just say that again, yes, games are for fun. They're not supposed to, again, make you upset. And I can't be mad at the game. It's not really the game that upset me. Again, it was myself for not hitting record to record the video. But I'm really happy I did. Because I got some really good stuff for you. Which you'll have to wait for. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What was that? Intruders. Intruders, you say? I will take that, thank you. But, yeah. Just, is alright. See, I just want to check this area, area very thorough. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Because, you know, Kyle seems to be missing more things in this game. And that's not cool. That doesn't help anything at all. Would you kindly get this thing crafted already? Air's only getting thinner down here. Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Atlas. Talking daffy duck. Sorry. From the sounds of that you invent, I'm guessing you're the proud papa of a brand new Lazarus Vector. Now drop the Vector into a gadget called Central Misting Control. Then we'll be cooking with gas. Well, I hope not if we cook with gas. In this condition, in this, in this sense, there might be a problem with that. What's with the coward? Where are you? Where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Hello? Where? Seriously, where? It's like they come out of nowhere. I swear. <laughs> I forgot about this fight. That's where I was like, um, I didn't hit the splicer on that one. I caused a bigger issue. A lot bigger issue. Hold on. Hold on. Pose. Thank you. You are on fire with those kills. Right now, you would be great at Overwatch, Big Daddy. You, you really would. Getting them kills, I tell ya. Let me just switch some weapons around here. Can, can ya... Let's just hang on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me flamethrower ya. Burn down the house. Ow. Have some of that. Sheesh. Sheesh. Yet again, more creepy laughs. Just more of it. But yeah, I, I'm I'm trying to be better. I'm trying not to be such a noob. As I say that. Where'd you go? I know you went somewhere. You're close. But yeah, as I say, I'm trying to be better and not to be such a noob. And you just appear out of nowhere there. And of course I step on the proximity mine that was blatantly in front of me that I knew what it would do. Alrighty. Thanks for that. Uh, sure, I'll just wait. Like, this would take a lot longer to burn off in real world, but alright. Nobody else? Okay. I'll, I'll let you handle that security system. I'm gonna come over here. Ah, somebody over here now. Somebody trying to sneaky sneak in the market, eh? Nobody? Nobody? No? Oh, 
Oh, really? What's How about that? some of this? That's a shotgun. <laughs> In my off time, it's Shoddy's locksmithing. Didn't forget about Shoddy's locksmithing, did you? Did you? Doop -doo. Hey, stuffs. Where do I gotta go? What's up? How you doing? Another Rosie. Um, did you forget where you're going? Like, you're kind of stumbling around there. Let's just go ahead and take care of you again. You know, why not? Have another fight. Ding, 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 ding. More money that I couldn't use. Because, you know, I forgot my wallet was full. Again! <laughs> Again! Oh, because circus music is so perfect in this environment. Lantern's tricking me yet again, making me think there's something else. I don't know what I thought they would be, but, you know. But, I realized I hadn't come down here. And yeah, I circled around everywhere on the top end. Oh, angry. Hold on. Hold that. That's a perfect pose. Action shot. <laughs> Again, what game do you know that says, here, here's the camera. Run into the gunfire. Run into the wrench that they're trying to hit you with, or the lead pipe. Hold on one minute, Splicer. I'm reading about this new tonic, the sports boost I got. Just hold on. Okay, continue. Go ahead. Continue what you're doing. <laughs> Their colleague, I guess you could say, was sitting there trying to hit me and hit them instead. <laughs> I, I hit them with invisible bullets. That's that's what I did right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. It made them fall and go straight into that fire pit and explode. Invisible bullets. Do that every time. Going to the big game tonight? Also, another thing, I'm sorry if this is tripping anybody out. I realize I'm wearing a tie dye shirt, and um, after this series of recordings of videos, I probably won't be doing that again unless somebody just thinks that's really cool. I don't know, but I don't really like it. But it's, I've got to get these recordings done, and I, I just. It, I know it looks like I'm wearing like probably nothing and I'm completely see-through that you know from the neck down I'm just a ghost and I, I promise I'm not at least I don't think I am I hope this isn't like sixth sense and I'm not aware of it or and I, I hope this isn't you know like like the others and I'm definitely not aware of it <laughs> if anyone's seen those two movies if you know Kyle's not you know I, I feel mo more old the more things that I think about I know I'm not very old but still I feel like a very old person <laughs> and yeah there's a lot of people that'll say well wait till you get this age and wait till you get that age and I am sorry for these annoying alarms is the best way I can put it that's that's the best word I can use right now to be nice about it <laughs> you know you think you hack a turret and you're doing good, or you hack a security camera and you, you know it's a good idea. Nope, it's not. Oh hi. Nope. Hold that right there. Ouch. That splicer kind of looked like Leatherface a little bit. Anybody else? Which I know they're they're all kind of. They all got some kind of deformities going on. With all the splicing and, you know, the shooting up of Eve and Adam and so forth. Reminds me of, like, a bear. Okay. 
On my walk today, I had my first encounter with Harrigan. He, a lumbering palooka in a foul-smelling diving suit. She, an unwashed moppet in a filthy pink smock. Her pallor was off, green and morbid. And there was a rather unpleasant aspect to her demeanor, as if she were in an altogether different place than the rest of us. I understand the need for such creatures. I just wish they could make them more presentable. Uh, oh, excuse me. Um, the yeah, that that I I didn't do that. It it wasn't me. It wasn't me, okay? I mean, you see that see that other big daddy, Rosie, uh, that right there. That yeah, I I know I'm taking stuff, but that that wasn't me. Okay, you go about your business. I'm just gonna see if there's anything else interesting about. See, like this diary. I I kind of I kind of needed that. One of the children came and sat in my lap. I push her off. I shout, "Get away from me!" I can see the Adam oozing out of the corner of her mouth. It's thick and green. Her filthy hair hanging in her face. Her dirty clothes. And that dead glow in her eye. I feel hatred like I never felt before. In my chest, bitter, burning fury. I can barely breathe. And suddenly I know. That's a good thing, because, you know, it's not the kid's fault. <laughs> I, I love how, how you do that. <laughs> and you make the little daddy the little daddy. Now I'm confusing little sister and big daddy. How <laughs> you sit there and you get the big daddy to be your friend. And <laughs> I don't know, it's like that... Kind of like that characteristic where, you know... Disney makes almost every animal like dog like. <laughs> Where are you going, man? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> That's what I'm screaming. Where are you going? Oh, okay. You you knew where somebody else was. All right. <laughs> Jeez. Um, of course that hurts me. Of course it does. But yeah, it's like, dog-like, like, oh, hey there, I'm gonna come with you now. <laughs> Can we go home? <laughs> Can we get a biscuit? <laughs> get a treat? <laughs> Just the thudding, <laughs> the, the, the wonky camera angle of the thudding behind you. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, come on. No, uh, no, come on. Come on. Come here. There you go, come on. See what I mean? It's like, hey, hey. <laughs> come back here. <laughs> now that, that, that was disappointing in game. It's still disappointing now. It's like, wait a minute, hold on. I had a friend. <laughs> One got stuck. <laughs> Ring around the rosy. <laughs> Big Daddy, I need your help. Help me. <laughs> you take care of them. Dude, be there you go. There you go. Be my bodyguard. Come with me. We we gotta take care of this Lazarus thing on the double. Get rid of all this problem here. That way we can all go on and survive a little bit longer in this hellish place. Nope. Mm -mm. Don't got time for you. Nope. Call it off the search party, I guess. Just in case you're about to run out.
be kind of interesting if you could do this to Splicers. There was our Jurassic Park plant again. As I call it. You gotta imagine that the people of Rapture have got to be pretty fit. What? <laughs> you just didn't know what to say. Alright, let's fix this once and for all. Take care of this problem. Are you complaining? Julie's death didn't provide a clear enough lesson to you. Perhaps this will suffice. Uh -oh. I don't want company. And the investigation begins again. Uh -oh. That's not good. That's not good at all. Hi there, Big Daddy. Can you be my friend too? I can have two friends? Oh no, I can't have two friends. That's the problem. You two work it out. $90 I can't take. Because, you know, I filled up my wallet earlier. What are you waiting for, Boyle? <laughs> Ryan's lads are on their way. Get the lab entrance sealed. You told me to try and take the stuff out of the tube. You were just yelling at me that I hadn't. And this was another fight of oh my goodness this was a mess which the very first time I played this on 360 I got so lost in this area there you go that big that big daddy's gone taken care of come on already come fight me <laughs> where I was like, what kind of stuff we got? <laughs> Everybody's in such a rush in this game. Is it just me? Every everybody wants to sit there and rush me. Like, why? <laughs> oh, now they're gonna come. Like anything in the hidey hole? Oh, no. No. <laughs> I had no choice at that point. Big Daddy was getting mad. I, I couldn't take him back. Plus I shocked him. See, that's the problem. The Spicers gang up on you, and you have that, you know, if you get hit, then you send out the electric. And yeah, it sounds good against a bunch of Spicers like this. But other than that, if you've got a Big Daddy right there next to your side, that's, you know, being your little helper, Problem being, is they turn on you. Breaks the, the trance, I guess you could say. Didn't have a chance off the filing cabinet. You were done. So done. This is what I mean, this was a fight. As long as the game keeps sending me more splicers to shoot, I guess. Um. Excuse me? Pardon me? Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. Excuse you, you weren't there before. Good grief. I hope somebody's counting these, because I gave up. I was counting them in my head, but I kind of gave up on it. I'm going to take your picture while I'm trying to figure out which weapon I want to, you know, <laughs> take care of you with. Nope. Nope. So many. Just half. Again, can you imagine this on hard? 
think I want in there. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Explodey do that did not help at all. So many of you. Miss me. Nope. Sheesh. Dude, speak. Chill. Just calm down. Take it easy. Nope. Where did Houdini go? Where'd you go? You're close. Over there somewhere? Yep, you were over there somewhere. I'm taking care of Splicer's Atlas, not like you're helping me. Sheesh. Got you, finally. There's another one. Trying to get them just right for me is difficult. <laughs> More ring around the rosy. <laughs> you can see that's where, where I was like, I'm done. I'm just full force. <laughs> see, that's another cutscene. I, I had to I had to go back. Sorry. But. And see, there's that again. I was like, I really want that. Don't know if I need it, but, you know. Like, hey, why don't you take care of that, Big Daddy? Yeah. So, why not, you know? I, I'm not going for completionist. I'm not going for perfect. I'll go ahead and I'll let Big Daddy take care of me, so I end up in the Vita Chamber, so I can grab that. I was like, yes, I'll take that, thank you. And that's like, wait, where did Big Daddy go? I mean, you can hear him, sure, but... So many lockboxes. There's like four or five, what, six, seven... There's an eight, nine... 10, 11. Try and count all the lockboxes. Plus another thing I forgot to talk about is I really like the trees in the the chambers. I thought that was kind of cool. Like when you're walking through the tunnels and you can just see them on the ocean floor. And it's like, how does that even work? Thirteen. 14, 15, counting bodies too. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So there's roughly what? We'll say rounded off to like 30 or so enemies, which, okay, yeah, this is one of those big defining moments. I don't know if all these lockboxes were here, but as far as I know, lockboxes are. Normally, after you've killed an enemy, and there can only be so many of the, you know, posed corpses about. There's where our friend... I had to, I had to let him go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, friend. That's never good. Yeah, see what I'm talking about with the trees? Like... I thought that was pretty cool. I don't think it would technically work. I mean, come on, let's, let's think about this, but you never know. <laughs> Ooh, a shiny. And that was just a lot of running back. This, this was like the meeting of the daddies here. It was like, um, okay, bye, bye, see ya. Go about your business. I've got my own business to attend to. Wanna know the funny part? That wasn't even a cutscene. <laughs> I don't know if I hit a button too quickly or <laughs> if it just lagged or what. You can laugh all you want. Laugh all you want to. But yeah, that's where I, I ran around 
Arcadia real quick to make sure I didn't miss anything. Because again, I don't want to miss anything if it's story based or a diary or anything like that that pushes that narrative along. Now we can finally leave Arcadia. Why are you so resistant to the traditional methods of separating a man from his soul? You're not CIA, are you? You belong to Atlas. The I don't belong. I can't seem to exterminate. Don't worry. I just need time to find the proper poison. Okay. Good to know. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks for that. What to do with that information, Mr. Ryan? The Great Chain. I believe in no god. No invisible man in the sky. But there is something more powerful than each of us. A combination of our efforts. A great chain of industry that unites us. But it is only when we struggle in our own interest that the chain pulls society in the right direction. The chain is too powerful and too mysterious for any government to guide. Any man who tells you different either has his hand in your pocket or a pistol to your neck. So kind of like we all work together or we don't is what I kind of get from that. The music changed. Okay. To Fort Frolic we go, I guess. Off on another adventure. You're almost there. The spear to Ryan is up on ahead. Okay then. The opening title music. I had a little fun with this. I, I just want to see how many different versions. It won't go well. It won't go well at all. Fortune teller must be foresighting. <laughs> mm, I don't think so. Rude. I didn't even ask a question. <laughs> Believe me when I tell you, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Uh, well, I finished this game. <laughs> uh, will I stop putting money in you? Darling, just close your eyes. I hope it's over quickly. <laughs> I promise well, this stuff. I hope you have somebody to carry on your family name. <laughs> so, better luck next time. I was trying to see if there was an achievement, like if you used it 10 or 13 times or something like that, then... Ah, perhaps in a past life you did something terrible to somebody. <laughs> That's an old phrase. Sweetheart, maybe you should ask somebody else for advice. <laughs> I'm getting tired of you, please go away. <laughs> Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> Look at the bright side. Maybe it'll be quick and painless. <laughs> I guess. Thanks. Thanks for that. Uh, it won't go well. It won't go well at all. That's where I was like, okay, there, there has to be. 
It's Patrick! I didn't know you were here. Well. Just, you know, must be near Bikini Bottom. Um, where? Where was that? Sorry. Okay. I was gonna kinda jam with it till you got creepy. And creepy mosaics and Dude Dude. I didn't know Circus Soleil was in town. Um excuse me? That's better. Atlas Ryan, Atlas Ryan, da 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 da. Time was you could get something decent on the radio. The artist has a duty to seduce the. <laughs> Are you gonna kill me? <laughs> Shoot spirit. you first. So say goodbye to those two blowhards and hello to an evening with Sander Cohen. Okay. Quite the, um, showman. Quite the, um, the dramatic entry there. No. I haven't seen a sign of real life down here in months. Let's see if you're just another Johnny come lately. Something more delicious. They try and sneak up on you. Where did I study? Uh, at shoddy, uh, shoddy locksmithing and co. Where I studied. Where? Where? Oh, there's more. A couple more Patrick's up there, too. Nope. Mm -mm. Not getting me. No, sir. Okay. Thanks, I guess. More creepies. Welcome to Fort Frolic. Hi. I think Maybe no need to thank me for jamming the transmissions of those boors, Atlas and Ryan. Let them have their squabble. The artist, yes, the artist knows there is richer earth to till. Okay. For example, I test you, little moth, but for a reason. I test all my disciples. Some shine like galaxies, and some, some burn like a moth at the flame. Come now, into my home. Okay. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Not even gonna mess with you. Not even gonna take time to deal with that. Mm -mm. But yeah, I I had to go back and redo some of this because the first time I thought it was recording, it wasn't. I'm so sorry. So, hey, a guitar. I 
kept trying to get the timing down on this. I couldn't do it. emotion and feeling with this guy. Hey, what's in there? Oh, okay, I dropped the rope. Alright, cool. What's Could in there, though? Could you possibly think I would meet with my public now when I'm preparing unbelievable... Sorry? Excuse me? Didn't mean to bother you? I'll, I'll just... I'll, I'll continue. If that's not the way the game's saying, hey, you need to stick with the main story, I don't know what it is. Oh boy. Now see again, as you can tell, I had already started the elevator in this one. And then switch, and then this is where I hadn't. So that's where I had to go back. Because it was then that I realized that... No, no. That the first half that I had already done. All this was not recorded. Silence. Allegro, allegro. Fitzpatrick. It is. Snappy snaps. See young Fitzpatrick here on the stage. Use your camera. Take him as he is now. So I may remember him. It's like, gotta figure out which one's the camera. Sorry. And now you've got Fitzpatrick. I forgot his name was Kyle. It's always Kyle. Always. Every time. Little moth. Now, head to the atrium and place this photograph in my masterpiece. And so our collaboration commences. <laughs> That's where I was like, oh, sorry, gotta go this way, I guess. Ooh, what's that over there? Another tonic of some sort. He barely made that. He what made an outstanding it. display of athleticism. Breaking that fourth wall. <laughs> Here, here's some hacking skills. By the way, you've been found out. <laughs> that was a pretty good shot. That door is broken. Can't go that way. Sheesh. Easy, Houdinis. Easy. No. Mm -mm. Sheesh. I just, I couldn't figure out where they were appearing at in-game. Then again, as you... Scene, I'm not very good at figuring out where they're gonna go. And I know there's somebody that's like an expert at it. 
You decided to go in the balcony right next to me. That was a mistake. Nobody hiding up here. So we'll go back the other way. Past the creeps. The, the, the plaster creeps. Whatever you want to call them. Plaster splicers. That's a mouthful. <laughs> now see, it tricked me a second time. Because the first time I thought those were splicers. Again, I thought they were splicers. Nope. Turrets. Because they, they take a minute to realize, oh, hey, enemy nearby. But no. Get the safety safe. See if I buy more stuff out, that leaves more room to fill up the wallet. Ain't that a fancy thing. Run, 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 run. I know why you've come, little Do you now? Use your own canvas. Oh, do you I? Paint with the blood of a man I once loved. Yes, I'll send you to Ryan. But first, you must be part of my masterpiece. Of course. Go to the atrium. Hurry now. My muse is a fickle bitch with a very short attention span. That's good to know. Thank you for... Do you see it? When I oh, I, lost, I see it. This is what they'll point to. My quad tick. My masterpiece. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Touch kind of hard not to be. Shiny. Yeah, and there's Fitzpatrick, freed of his own cheeks and defects. And here's the glorious news. This is just the moment of conception. Out in this place, there are three men, all former disciples of mine, all connected. By a common thread. Betrayal. Find them, little more. And immortalize their mortality in my quad tick. Go. Once they've been sent to their reward, you shall go to yours. And to Ryan. Okay, then. Do a thing for you, so then you can, you know, push me along out my way, I guess. Okay, then. The door to Poseidon Plaza is now open to you, my mom. Thanks, I guess. I think. Not for sure at this point. Stood up again. Second time this week. Ever since my face was... Well, Steinman worked on me, but it was never the same since the blast. Me being alone so much gives a girl time to think. Who could hate me so much they'd ruin me like this? What did I do to them? You know, I keep thinking of all them bandits and terrorists. Ryan's got locked up in Paula Square, and I get so mad. Sometimes I can hardly breathe. Allow me to draw back the curtain. I'll have to go back with that one, I guess. <laughs> If I don't go back, I'm sorry. I, I don't remember. I really don't. You think you're gonna finish me in here, you old fruit? Get the saps you tossed in this meat locker. All panic like rabbits. I just watched and waited. And when they started to kick, I started to scavenge. Made myself a little splicer cocktail I did. And you can't come in from the cold. And you gotta grow ice. Iceman cometh, Sander baby. The Iceman fucking cometh. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Sure. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's gonna be cold. Gotcha. I saw you. Wherever you was. Take care of all these. Nope. Nope. Mm. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Couldn't make it out. Mm -mm. Well, I've turned into an icicle. Son of a bitch. Let me to freeze. Oh, I've got a pose all picked out for you. Do you now? 
Well, I don't plan on staying here much longer, friend. I plan on going my way. Just take care of all of you over there. I'm not even gonna mess with ya. Mm -mm. Don't got the time. I do not have the time for this. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, come here. Where are you going? You're done. That was bracing. Take a photo of him. Place it in the quad tick. <laughs> mm, I'm feeling full like an expectant mama. Chill, Sander. Chill. A little much there, man. A little much there, my dude. I'm just getting some photos for you, man. Just hold on. <laughs> yes. Now put the picture in the frame. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. Nothing in the box. Got another thingy do. Another tonic. Frozen field. I forgot about that. I think I need to go equip that. Double check the box, because I forgot the first time around if I actually opened it or not. I try not to keep talking in between things so I'm not, you know, drawing anything out of the story. I, I don't I don't want to talk over any of that. But You're around somewhere. This was a fun fight. Because the Big Daddy was already being <laughs> taken care of. It's like, they didn't even notice me. It's like, let me take a picture while I'm there. Just, I'm gonna chill back here for a minute. Oh, you did see me. Okay. It's like, hold on. Let me get your picture again. Those are some good pictures. That'd make front front page news in the Rapture Report. Whatever the newspaper is called in Rapture. Just you know, a couple more snappy snaps. You know, no big deal. And I didn't realize I could take pictures of a little sister there. Just you know, bunch of them. Just fa family meeting, family photo. You know, this is no different than what goes on at most family reunions. You know, no big deal. No big deal. That's right. Completely missed the splicer, and I was like, um, now I got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> big Daddy step on a banana and slide down the stairs. <laughs> it's all good. It's, it's okay. It's all good. I ain't gonna kill you. Not like the mother slicers. Ones, I've never had anyone to look to Thank except you. to me, and I am not much to speak of. You give them hope, and for this, I am grateful. I'll send something to demonstrate that gratitude. You ain't sneaking up on me. But yeah, I will definitely have to get have to go back and make sure I didn't goof up on anything else. It's coming together. <laughs> I could never stomach doubters. Okay. Good to know. I guess. As the music gets creepy again. For another time. Hi. How you all doing? 
Oh, me too. Me too. Been, been, been just great. Yeah. Didn't mean to interrupt you during dinner. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm going to see what's going on here. See what the doubters had to say. Rapture is going to hell. And why? Because of them. Always behind the scenes. At the Lyceum. At the galleries in Soho. Even down here in this so-called utopia. The doubters. How about that turn? That's trouble. Just just let me crack into all these safes real quick but before you mess with me. Hang on. Hang on. I wanna hold on. Hold on. Calm down for a minute. You're not gonna calm down for a minute, alright. I just wanted to see what was all in here and you just couldn't wait. You wanted to battle it out instead. Thanks, I guess. Cause now you're done. In the words of Fez, I said good day. Couldn't wait, could you? Couldn't wait at all. But yeah, I don't have much time left in this one, so I'm gonna have to get back to the creepy in the next video. Jump around, hunt around some more of this nonsense in Fort Frolic, and all you peeps and folks and dudes, stay awesome out there. Hope you have a good day. I'll say what I normally say and say bye. I'll see you, and have a good one. Please like, share, subscribe. You know, love it, hate it, shame it, whatever you want to do, let me know. And hopefully it was a good one for you, alright? See you later!